Andy Stevenson for a severe MMA, joined by a victorious Lee Hammond here at the Hera Fighting Championship 1. Uh, Lee, uh, a great performance, a methodical one, but I want to talk to you first about your nose. You're obviously busted up right now. How is it? Um, yeah, my nose is alright. It's uh, busted up like you said. I still have to a bit of adrenaline, so I don't fully feel my nose yet, but everyone has told me it's busted up. I haven't looked at it yet. I might faint, but everyone has told me it's busted up. Yeah, I actually didn't even realise until after the fight. It looked like your foot was cut, was cut at first. Yeah, no, do you remember what happened with yeah, the nose? I actually do remember what happened. I had double underhooks from half guard and I was trying to pass two stubborn I kept insisting on going to mount instead of calmly passing I rushed to mount my foot was trapped my hands were joined and then I got bridged off and uh, I swept him straight away but in the second I was on my back fair play to him he came up on top and to him a very nice elbow didn't see it coming didn't have me over hooks I was thinking more attack him straight away from me back jiu jitsu mindset and he was obviously thinking more MMA and he caught me with a beautiful elbow so fair play to him for that one yeah, but, um, yeah my nose is alright and I'm happy I overcame seeing a lot of blood Usually I go for a blood test and I'm fucking fainting, so I'm happy I stayed in the fight well. So blood's not your thing? Yeah, needles more so, but blood isn't my thing either, no? Yeah, look, you, you landed some nice body kicks at the start and then obviously you got the takedown and, and went to work from there. Was the plan to use your jiu-jitsu in this fight? My plan was to throw hard shots, hard kicks, and then uh, if it came into the grappling, grapple, yes. My plan was just to fight wherever the fight was, yeah. But obviously, I love jiu-jitsu, so I'm always going to try to use my jiu-jitsu, do you know what I mean? Of course. Yeah, you, you threatened with a number of different submissions I, I don't know much jiu-jitsu yeah, yeah. but it looked like a key lock then he had like a, a choke at one point yeah, like a choke yeah. I went under his leg I attacked his leg came up on top went to pass his guard he done well like I wasn't expecting him to have such a tight guard spoke to him afterwards and he said he was holding onto that leg for everything because obviously that's the last stage of a pass if you clear your foot you're free you pass his guard so he held onto the ankle well and bridged off but then uh, got the elbow swept him went under his leg swept him again got on top and then the blood was like all over the place so we were slipping and sliding scrambled, 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 but on top I could hear his breathing and I could feel him really holding, I was kind of making him bear the weight and he was really holding, could feel him working and then I eventually got to the, it was on his back he went two on one, went over his head and then went to the armbar, yeah, so that sequences I do every day, so yeah. yeah. Hats off to Nicola for taking the fight, it's obviously, I'm sure it was a frustrating time, not the original opponent you were expecting or, or, or maybe wanted, I don't know, but um, was it frustrating the last few days with the changes of opponents? It was frustrating in a, in a sense, but then um, I was speaking to Gary Rooney, a very good friend of mine, I was speaking to him during the week and uh, we we're just talking about the OMF days where I competed and they're fighting the number one in the world from fucking Russia on a day's notice. So um, I have that experience there, so I'm able to deal with it. I know how to approach fights on short notice. I know I'm well round enough to take anyone on short notice, but it's always something like you have to prepare for someone new on short amount of time, but he also had to prepare for me on a short amount of time, so it's a fair game, do you know what I mean? Was there a worry at one point that you wouldn't get a replacement? Yeah, there was, yeah. The last couple of days there was, so thanks very much to Nicola and his team for taking the fight because he was the fourth lad I had, three different pull outs, and uh, he came in at the end so fair play to him I appreciate that you spent some time in Thailand in preparation for this fight what was that like yeah it was enjoyable yeah something uh, something different went over there see I was coaching the Irish team the Irish kids team at the world championships and I was halfway there more than halfway there always wanted to go so I was just booked on a couple of days notice and fucked off for a while yeah I enjoyed it I got it wrong the other day I said it was going to be your first your pro fight now it's not you already fought in Bellator but yeah. what's it like fighting in a crowd like that yeah, you know that huge was, support yeah yeah that was brilliant brilliant to be honest I try not to take any of the like I try not to build up build up too much in my head like it's the same thing I do every day but I did enjoy the extra buzz of the crowd I can't, can't lie like it was, it was a good buzz yeah 5-0 and oh now 4 finishes in just over a year yeah. uh, what's next for Lee Hammond? Um, next is go get the get the nose checked work on myself like I always do and uh, see what opportunities come up I'll be ready for whatever comes up I'm able to fight anyone in the world so let's see what, com let's see what comes from there yeah we spoke before like that the UFC is the goal yeah. what way would you like to see yourself getting to the UFC like if you could lay out the path ideally like they ring me tomorrow and they ask me to fight in a few months and I say yeah that's the way I'd like it to be but whatever way it comes it comes whatever I have to do I'll do and uh, it's always like oh to the UFC but I want to get to the UFC and climb the ranks it's not just getting to the UFC that's not my goal it's not to just get there it's to get there and climb the ranks look I do in every other competition I do I go there to be the best to be the champion so that's what I'll be doing there too I know you're saying that you like you want to get the call in say a couple of months and, and off you go but what do you think you need to do realistically to get, to get there not just to get there as you said but so that you're ready and that you can make you can hit the ground running ask for it I suppose isn't it you have to ask for it and then you get the opportunity so yeah I'm, I'm asking for it now if the opportunity comes my way I'll take it and then I'll prepare for whatever's in front of me like I always do that's what I believe that's what I think has to be done well I appreciate the time yeah. congratulations uh, I hope that the nose is alright yeah. uh, and we'll chat to you again soon but all the best for the next, what's thanks, what's next. Yeah, thanks for giving us the platform for the interview I appreciate it and fair play to you for all the work you're doing man you're doing great for the Irish MMA yeah? appreciate it